Hey, good morning. Figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a walk around of what I've been up to this week. Um, worked on getting the sewer line extended out from under the house. This will be, uh, that's what's in here in this hole, is the sewer line will be extended up to the top of this hill here where I'm going to be parking the campers eventually. Uh, and then that way they can just tie in their tanks to that and be able to do the, uh, the cleaning out of the tanks properly instead of having to use some type of a transfer uh, dolly or bucket or whatever. I don't want to get into that. Uh, I'm sure nobody else would either. But So I got that <clears throat> and also have the uh, piers, the footings all poured and started putting some of the uh, post base on that, which I'll pick up a few more today and we're heading into town and be able to get that done. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll take you out front here and show you what uh, what I've been doing with the backhoe on the back of the tractor. I'm sure that gives, a, gives it away, but I've been working on trenching out the extension of the drain tile that we had uh, earlier. Actually, I don't even know. It must have been about a year ago I put drain tile behind the house uh, because water was actually going underneath it, underneath the house that is, and uh, I wanted to divert it away and get, uh, get the downspouts to tie into it as well. So. This is where the old tile used to uh, just stick out of the ground. You probably saw that in some of the last videos. Um, but now we've got it extended so that it'll run all the way out to the front culvert uh, or the ditch out by the road, which then takes the way to the to a creek. Um, but got this one here too for the downspouts for the front porch to come into and uh, be working on that today, getting all of this drain tile uh, corrugated pipe installed into this trench get it all backfilled and hopefully uh, today or early next week I ordered up 25 tons of gravel uh, that'll be in and delivered and then that way I can kind of top coat all of this the whole driveway and everything with with uh, fresh stone and we don't have to worry about so much mud here at least on the front side of the property so that's where we're at uh, right now. I will uh, um, continue to show you guys as we're doing things, um, but uh, just wanted to give you a little update of what was going on this morning. I got it all installed uh, as the time lapse that I took showed and uh, everything went pretty good got everything run up to the front up under here and rather than cutting more yard out I decided to put the bucket underneath the patio and or the deck and then that way I could just run the downspout over to it I got lattice work that has to go up so you really won't be able to see it chickens are helping me here eat grubs and worms and whatever else they can find put in a little bit of a basin right here this is kind of a major point where water just rushes across the yard so it'll catch some of that plus I'm going to be putting in driveway parking area right in this area anyway so that'll catch some of that watershed a little smoothing out I have to do here but it's starting to rain a little bit and I'll have to get the backhoe off of the tractor anyway to get the box blade on it to be able to smooth this all out but all in all I think it'll work pretty nicely much better than the torrent of water that usually runs down the driveway which I think is the reason why the other owners put this big slab of concrete in here to try to keep some of the wash out from happening but uh, it didn't work great because it all went to this side of the driveway and as you can see there's kind of new gravel in there that I just try to keep filling it in but I got some more rock work to do down here but it'll go down into the side of the ditch right here and at least it'll dump out to the road eventually I'm going to be digging all this up put in a wider apron uh, 
larger culvert to put in here so that way I can get a better turn for vehicles with trailers uh, for future plans that we have for the place. But this is gonna be working now and uh, I think we'll be in good shape.